Hey class, <clears throat> my name is Melissa and I am going to be talking about um, something that is very close to me and means a lot to me and hopefully in the near future I will be doing something in this field and that is recovery. Um, so many families in this predicament that they did not plan to be in um, can be very tragic for the entire family and so um, I feel like this program or this opportunity or this leadership type will come in handy um, I am putting together or I put together a um, Celebrate Recovery Conference, which involves a enormous amount of time and effort on and volunteer times. Uh, no one gets paid to do this. This is all uh, volunteer. And so um, I have four people on my team. I have Barbie which she is great at greeting and helping people and she's very welcoming and um, just a really friendly face when you first walk into Celebrate Recovery if you are there for the first time. And then my other person that I have is Jackie and she loves to cook, bake, um, kind of be behind the scenes of the recovery, but still involved. And she is a major part involved actually because she prepares food and she um, makes up the menus and decide what we're gonna have. And then I also have a gentleman um, by the name of Brian. He is a very special part of Celebrate Recovery. He runs the soundboard and is really good at it. He grew up doing it. He, at one point he was in a band and he played the drums and so he knows a lot behind what needs to happen with the sound, with the um, you know slideshows, um, music or you know anything else that's going to be done up at stage and then i have ken and he is a an outgoing um chipper lovely guy and he loves to be the center of attention he loves the praise. He loves the all eyes on me. So he he gets he gets to plan lessons and and be dramatic or whatever he wants upon the stage at some point. So, um, so for this one, um, you know, I a um, thought or a quote that came to my mind that really I feel this is fit and it was uh, Mother Teresa and she was known for the metaphor of selfless devotion holiness sounds like a an amazing loving caring human being I mean who wouldn't love that especially if you, you feel like you're alone in this world and you have nobody and uh, you know there's somebody just that one person that could say something or do something and um, make it through or make it through that day or that hour or make it to the next step or another 24 hours so uh, I really believe that um, that quote has a lot of um, meat behind it so um, so this one so as Brian for the music and everything he picks the songs there's usually three songs that are played that we sing 
and um, you know this is about not only recovery but it's also introducing uh, Christianity to others and um, really showing them how God cares for them or um, anyone else cares for them and so you know he takes some time to figure out what kind of songs and kind of have to feel the mood and figure out you know what people are kind of going through if you know anything and so that's really important and you know there also is some like video funny clips that we watch and so he makes sure those are good and up and running and my beautiful friend Barbie <laughs> the minute that you meet her you you feel welcome so she I put her in charge of um, greeting getting people new name tags um, showing people the different pamphlets that we have there um, you know just making them really feel welcome wor welcome because sometimes it's scary walking into a new place and or somewhere you've never been and um, and it it can bring a lot of high anxiety and fear to that one person I know it does with me uh, and so that's why I have Barbie be the name tag person and the greeter and um, show the newcomer what it's like and what we do there and then Jackie our little mother hen <laughs> doesn't like to be on the spotlight and she likes to just be a a uh, fly on the wall I guess you could say she likes to work behind the scenes she doesn't like to take credit she doesn't like to do you know center of attention stuff she hates getting up on stage so I don't have her do that um, and and you know it's amazing because she we could have between 15 and 60 people for dinner and it's all food that we come up with um, nobody's you know being catered or sometimes we'll do like fiesta food stuffed tacos or pizza or something but mainly the food that we do is home cooked um, provided by the CR leadership and staff so um, yeah, she likes to do that and that's that's where she is and so Ken he um, really gets into his lessons and this lesson that he's going to teach is hope and um, he, he has a few things up his his arm and he's kind of thrown out but um, group hasn't really agreed on it so <laughs> it's still to be continued uh, but you know in the end it's really what that person is comfortable doing and where can they shine the most and where can they make others feel very welcome um, you know <clears throat> just like LeBron James he one of his um, principles was to give back to the community and that's what this program does is gives back to the community and um, serves the community and what needs to happen food you know there's even times where we can find places for people to live or go or any of that we have all that resource so um, you know I really feel like I have a good solid group right now and myself, I will be walking around trying to make things kind of run smoothly as well they can and um, help anywhere that I can help. So uh, I'm really excited. And, um, you know, CR is a place for support, for help, um, and really what one person is struggling with it can be from food to all the way to shopping addictions there's many different small groups that we break down to after we all sing songs and um, 
was taught a lesson. So, <clears throat> um, you know, Celebrate Recovery has become a big part because not only does it help me, but it helps my entire family. Anybody's welcome there. Anybody can go there, including children. They have places for children to go and talk about what um, needs to be done and or what has happened to them or what they've witnessed. And, you know, children need to heal as well as the addict and the family surrounding them. So it's a lot of time, a lot of healing, a lot of fun too, because we do games and we'll do drawings and, um, you know, we talk about the hurts, havoc, and hangups, where we were and where we are today. Um, we get to share our stories to others uh, and lead them to a road of recovery and hopefully get them started where they need to start doing what they want to do. They can start doing, there's a 12-step program in Celebrate Recovery that they can do. Um, there's other small, like men and women, like there's a small men's group for certain things, and then there's an, um, another small group for the women, like if they want to go see a movie or do whatever. So, um, and the best part of this whole thing is the fellowship and the people and the friendship and the love and the support that you get and um you know it's it's important to have good support good um encouragement and not to kick you when you're down you know we don't throw away our wounded so uh, you know it's one day at a time and sometimes it's 30 seconds at a time but Recovery is recovery, and this is a place where you can celebrate your day one of your rec recovery journey, or it could be seven, if not longer, years. So it's for everyone. Doesn't matter. Everyone. And I feel that a lot of us have hurts, habits, and hang-ups. So <laughs> in doing things of getting things ready, um, you know, we were prepared to do a video and get ready and the audio didn't work. And so we had to figure that, it was a challenge. We figured it out. Um, also, dinner was kind of held back because, you know, something took a little bit longer to cook. And the nice thing about that is everyone is understanding, no judgment, you know, we'll get food when we get food and just appreciate it because it's a free meal. And they didn't have to cook it. I didn't have to cook it. So, um, and Ken is, um, his hope speech was amazing. And it gave me a lot of hope and encouragement to keep going on my journey and to just love myself and, and just hang on tight as the ride goes because I'm not leaving five minutes before the um, happiness comes. So um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I, um, this is a real thing. It's Celebrate Recoveries. I know three of them actually in Yakima and they are all over the world. In fact, it's the last weekend they had a huge um, it was a, they call it the summit. And so everyone from all over the country went there. It was pretty amazing. So um, there's things to look forward to. There's things to do. And there's ways for you to get involved. And so um, come on out. Help us out. Become a leader. Become somebody's, um, you know, teacher be just hold on to the new people so uh, I, the videos that I have and the clips that I have or the pictures that I have I can't do the actual ones here because of anonymity um, it's very uh, it's like Alcoholics Anonymous it's very quiet not quiet but you know, people like to be there and know that it's a safe spot and that they're not going to be judged and, you know, their boss isn't going to be seeing them in um, 
on Facebook or any media stuff. So it's a very safe, secure place. So I couldn't take pictures of actually what people were doing and, and everything like that. But there is pictures um, that were okayed by um, the crew of Celebrate Recovery and the people. And so I will be showing you a couple of those. And I hope you have a good one. Stay sober.